Every single can that we drink beverages out of has a plastic liner on the inside, made up largely of a chemical called BPA. My name is Andrew Pask. I'm a professor of biosciences at the University of Melbourne. And what we're doing today is looking at what is on the inside of aluminium cans. And what we're doing is an experiment where we use hydrochloric acid to actually dissolve the aluminium. And then we can see that all the cans, and this is true of every single can that we drink beverages out of, has a plastic liner on the inside. That plastic liner is made up largely of a chemical called BPA. One of the things I was really surprised to find out is that beer in particular seems to be able to leach the BPA chemical from that liner into the fluid itself. And so a number of different surveys have looked at the level of BPA in beer and it's actually quite high compared to other beverages that you might consume from a can. The bad thing about BPA is it's actually one of the chemicals that we call an endocrine disruptor which actually interferes with the way the hormones work in our body. We know that chemicals, especially in plastics, can really have a negative impact on male health. And it's almost unquestionably our exposure to some of these really potent chemicals which mimic these hormones in our body that start to do things that they're not meant to do. Now in Australia, we have one in six couples have to go and get assisted reproductive technologies to assist them to conceive a child. So that's an absolutely mind boggling number of people who can no longer naturally conceive. For young men, we're seeing an increase in erectile dysfunction as is male breast development as well. And so we're really trying to understand what it is in our environment in particular, which is causing all of these diseases to increase and causing us to have this decreased fertility. So I think it's something we have to really start to look and addressing where are the sources of these chemicals come from and what is the impact that they're having on our body.